City Line, everyone, and because I know you've got it in you, you can keep those applause going for Kimberly Selden, <laughs> who is joining me in this gorgeous set. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah. Very nice. Now, I'm very surprised to hear that Shabby Chic is back, and this is what we're using to represent Shabby Chic. Not so shabby, but very chic. Very, very chic. Thank beautiful. you to LT for letting us do our shopping there. And when we think of Shabby Chic, of course, it started in Santa Monica, 1989, and it was very feminine, and it was very pastel colors, whites and pinks and mints and blues, and that's kind of the image that people have in their mind. But everything evolves and everything changes. And the things that we love about Shabby Chic are still consistent. So we love the fact that things look slightly used. Like look at this table, how weathered this is. You get the feeling that when your husband comes home from work and he puts his big old feet on the table, it no won't problem. matter. This is no one problem. thing you don't have to fight about, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and throw your work boots up there. I don't care. <laughs> so it's, we love the fact that things are a little bit worn, a little bit um, aged, a little uh, forgiving in terms of usability. So we also think in terms of Shabby Shabby chic of slip covers, but traditionally they were white. So nowadays people are like, gosh, we've gone as far as we kind of can with white and beige. Everybody's a little bored with that and darks are really popular. So LT said, why don't we slip cover the furniture in a dark linen? And it's a beautiful. really sophisticated look. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And for those of you with dark colored pets, Perfect. It is. Right? You have to be Perfect. practical about you these things. You have to be super practical. Or you will go insane. So I see moms, new moms, and you're a relatively new mom, oh, yeah. struggle so hard with wanting everything to be white and then is it going to get dirty and all that kind of stuff. Right. There are ways that you can be a little bit more practical. And I think this color, this charcoal gray, is a really good, sophisticated color. And then it's married with all kinds of different prints. So we've got the cut velvet pillows. And lavender continues to be kind of a trend forward color that we're really happy with. We've got the wall color behind us to match it. So mm -hmm. again, it's kind of getting away from white walls and getting away from white, but keeping that well-loved, well-worn look about it. And nothing matches. No, nothing matches. So, And that would be staying true to the original shabby and shabby Completely. chic. Completely. Those chairs, I mean, Beautiful. absolutely gorgeous. And they've got that look like they've, you know, been here forever. Yeah, these absolutely look, look so like that original shabby chic. Yes. So this really is, the, these are the two pieces, I would say, that really speak to the initial movement. Right. And of course, these look like pieces that you might have inherited from an aunt if you lived in France and you've had them kicking around forever and you put on a new kitchen, a new cushion. Maybe you've had to have the back recaned. It's not terribly expensive to do that. And I know when Sam, Samantha Pin and I are on. We always talk about how, especially in the summer, people put great chairs like this out on the side of the road. Yeah. We pick them up. <laughs> okay, so you might see me picking through your front yard at some point. But these are obviously beautiful, beautiful chairs. And I love the box cushion. So I want to just say a word about that too. Um, the knife edge is where the two points meet. It's kind of pointy and unforgiving. The box cushion gives you a little more comfort, a little more pad. So think about that in terms of euros. Right. Sometimes if you're doing a little bit more contemporary look, as your euro could be a box cushion as well. Very nice. I love layering, so we've tucked the footstool underneath, and it's covered in like a jury carpet. So obviously this one we, we you can purchase from LT, but if you have an old carpet kicking around, you're not sure what to do with it, converting it to something like a poof or a footstool, an ottoman, or covering a bench mm -hmm. is a great way to reuse it. Very and good idea. The, and then the rug. And the carpet, isn't it fun? Yeah, it's beautiful. I know. I, I know, know we've had different manifestations of this on the show before, but maybe you can tell us a little bit about what it is because it's all reclaimed right it's all reclaimed it they're cut into kind of a patchwork pattern so it's going to work really well for shabby chic it'll work for boho chic if you like that mm -hmm. bohemian look it's going to go what i like about it is it really can transition from traditional to contemporary because the patterns underneath are traditional but the treatment of it is contemporary so it's that punch of color that i think particularly canadians I see my clients really begging for color these days. Good. They, we're getting away from the all beige room and people are saying, how about a little purple? How about a little pink? Right. And I think you can see that it still can be really sophisticated depending on how it's put together. It's the color revolution and it's happening in Thank Canada goodness, right now as we speak. We're living it.